April 10, 1948, Nuremberg, Germany. After more than six months on a trial, the 24 defendants, former commanders of the Einsatzgruppen, which were Nazi SS mobile death squads, hear their sentences read. For killing two million Jews, Romani people, partisans, Slavs, homosexuals, and others while operating behind the front line in Nazi-occupied Eastern Europe, 14 of them are sentenced to death by hanging. One of them is a former Protestant pastor named Ernst Bieberstein. Ernst Bieberstein was born on February 15, 1899 in Hilkenbach, then part of the German Empire as Ernst Szymanowski. From 1917 until 1919, he served as a private in the infantry. From March 1919 to 1921, Bieberstein studied Protestant theology, and in December 1924, he became a Protestant pastor. He called himself the SA Pastor, as beneath his robe he often wore the SA uniform. In 1926, he was one of the first pastors to join the Nazi party. He joined the SS in 1936, and two years later, he left the church. After the outbreak of World War II, he again served as a private in 1940, and one year later, he became a head of the Gestapo office in Opel. The same year, he changed his name from Szymanowski to Bieberstein, and from 1942 on, he became a commander of Einsatzkommando 6, which operated mostly in Ukraine. It was here where Bieberstein committed his worst atrocities. Between September 42 and June 1943, his commandos killed between 2,000 and 3,000 Ukrainian Jews. In Rostov, he personally supervised the execution of between 50 and 60 men, women, and children in a gas truck. The poor Ukrainian victims were stripped of all their money and valuables, sometimes even clothes, and were left in mass graves. In gas vans, victims died of toxins in the exhaust, while the vans were transporting them to fresh pits or ravines, which became the mass graves. However, this method of killing had two obstacles for the Nazis. It was slow, as victims took 20 minutes to die, and the driver could hear the victim's screams. His commandos also executed people with firearms while Bieberstein was present. Innocent Ukrainian victims, often naked, had to kneel down on the edge of a mass grave as his commandos shot them in the back of the neck with an automatic pistol so that the bodies would drop straight into the pit. Justice finally caught up with Bieberstein in the end when he was arrested by the Allies on July 1, 1945. Ernst Bieberstein was convicted of war crimes, crimes against humanity, and membership in a criminal organization, the SS. He pleaded not guilty to all of the charges brought against him. In summer 1947, a tribunal found Bieberstein guilty and sentenced him to death by hanging. However, the death sentence was never carried out and was changed to life imprisonment instead. Even his life imprisonment did not last long as he was released in 1958. For a short time, he worked in church administration in Neumünster, but he was haunted by his dark past until the very end. Bieberstein could no longer find employment in the church sector and worked in various poorly paid positions until he retired. He died in 1986 as a free man at the age of 87. There were no tears shed for Ernst Bieberstein. Thanks for watching the World History Channel, and don't miss our next videos. Click the subscribe button now for more interesting clips. Give us a like, and see you in the following episode.